New England Candle Pins is made possible through the generous support of the U.S. Candle Pin Bowling Association. Learn more at uscandlepin.com. By Ryan Family Amusements in Millis, Massachusetts. Visit ryanfamily.com. By your community's public access channel. And by your Franklin friends and neighbors, good folks just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching. From Ryan Family Mutants in Millis, Massachusetts, it's New England Candle Pins. In our final Sweet 16 show, Dennis Nuzzo gets ready to bowl against Rick Kamarowski. And then in game two, Justin Scally gears up to take on Ray Weatherby. Now let's roll with your hosts, Richie Myrick and Dave Chestercove. Welcome back to New England Candle Pins here for our final, uh, final show of our Sweet 16 round. Between our 7th seed and our 10th seed, we have Rick Kamrowski to my left, Dennis Nuzzo to Richie's right. Rick, how have you been and how have you been bowling? Been pretty good. Bowling, bowling's been average. Nothing spectacular, but uh, otherwise things are good. Feeling good today though, right? I hope so. I think so. All right, well said. All right, Richie, take it away. All right, I'm going to take it away and I'm going to bring it over to Dennis Nuzzo. Dennis, uh, who uh, also hosts the Candle Pin Show. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Sure, you've been on it enough. You know all about it. So, uh, King of the Palace, we're on um, YouTube, public access. Um, come on down. Uh, the next one for the last is May 25th, but that'll be over. And then we're going into season eight next year. Can't wait to have it. Awesome. Uh, hope your uh, turnout is great for that. I've, I've also always enjoyed uh, being a uh, participant in your program, and we're happy to have you here on New England Candle Pin. So, let's have some fun today, guys, and we'll be back right after these words. Welcome back to New England Candle Pins, and to my right is joining us once again is Mike Kustad. Raise the roof, stay tuned. And to his right is our good friend Richie Myrick. I mean, if they're already tuned in, they, they might as well stay. <laughs> All righty, to start this match off, we have Dennis Nuzzo. You may go when you're ready, buddy. Dennis will be bowling Rick Kamarowski here, good Polish boy. And uh, Dennis thinks that's the way to start by taking out the six pin. I'm thinking he's planning on going taking nine right now and getting a spare. He's got some kind of different strategy. Well, I'll tell you what, that's, <laughs> that's a backwards nine drop converted right there. Crystal ball's back. I don't think the crystal ball really ever left. <laughs> I mean, that was only the second worst first ball that we've seen in this season. Turned out to be the best result so far. <laughs> sure and I'm thinking it's going to be six or better on the fill. I'm calling a hammer. All right. Back to a five, though. Got oh, away with so that lied. Still. That's good analysis right there. We're going to convert. Just sneaks by the hit. Yeah, he didn't miss it by much there. Well, two ocean first balls, still going to net him 23 for two boxes. And we'll uh, bring up Rick Kamarowski. He starts off with the Kaliri on the right hand side. One, three, six, eight, ten. Rick has been on our show four times, and unfortunately, in those four times, his opponents are averaging 126 against him. So he hasn't run into very much luck. No. Let's see if he can turn it around here today.
All right, top All right. seven to start. You got in there. Okay, he's feeling it. Just gonna try and find it here. You just get a mark, settle into the match, get that first ball in there. see this leave too often. Oh, you don't. It's still a two-pinner because that would will trip it off really the six. It really is. That's a great call yeah. stacks. I really like it. If he hits that five-pin right in the face, he's going to snap that six-pin right back to us. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, boy. Outside of the five-pin and Crystal ball, makes baby. it go away. Crystal ball. It's all shiny. <laughs> All right, both bowlers starting out a little rough, but both were able to get a mark in their first two boxes. Now here. Spare. All right, back to a five drop, the bucket in one. Get the diamond in one. And almost gets a little full. Convert, little full. Yeah, plowed through the middle there. Drive your nine, move on. Yeah, see, I, I take the nine here. Take Absolutely. Eight. Yep. Almost gets a 10. Fancy nine. Uh, good nine. A <laughs> fancy nine, yeah. That was a <laughs> chandelier of nines right there. And we are very happy to have our sponsors. Ryan Family Amusements has always uh, backed us up, and Franklin TV kicked in over $1,000. To our prize fund uh, for this season, and so for this season, get we're your families out and bowl. That's Keep right. Supporting yep. this great game. We have 16 bowlers in our season, and everyone's going to get paid. Uh, everybody gets uh, paid uh, just to bowl, and um, we're going to be giving away a thousand dollars to our winner of this series. Yep. And that's that's because we have such good sponsors and such a great turnout. Sometimes it's uh, tough right there. Like you, you, you want to fill, you know, so you get a little less aggressive and he goes for a six box there. So he started with a mark and now he finds himself at only 38 after four. And Rick uh, coming up at 17 after two, he's filling after that nice spare he made in a second. Could just look to try and get a nice little edge in this match here if he can throw a good ball here in the third. Give yep, himself a nice a spare lead. After making such a great shot in the second. Oh, back oh, to a good working Wait a oh, wow. Back to a loving for the young timer. What a read that was. That's a veteran read right there by the great hair veteran. Young timer. He's going to cross over. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> He's like, this is the lane that I'll yeah, have to back to a strike he, on. Yeah, he wanted to stay on one there. You might, might have to hit the top here if you're going to get a double. I got a feeling he's going to lay this ball in there after that one. Lays it in there, up top. Tough five, you're going to work on the fill here. Beauty. Grab your 18, I think, right here, instead of trying to really make a cut shot of the two. You might still be able to cut it over sweet, but yeah, I agree. I take, take your three. medicine, take the 18 if you can. Yep. Especially with the lead. Oh, oh boy, oh, stick oh, it I'm going to take 19. Well done. Isn't that funny how that works? You throw the ball in the ocean and it comes back high tide for you, and then you put one right back in the in the pocket, and well, not the pocket, but you know, Up you top. blow out the middle. Yeah. And, and a nine box. My little game so, three on so the box. So counterintuitive. So Rick it. is able to go up there, and like we said, work on that fill, and just boom, after four boxes, finds himself up 17 17, pins. so he's very satisfied with, with that fill. It could have been a lot See if worse. Dennis can start his half and end his half with some kind of a mark. Can't find it. Well, he was able to make this in the first box, though. Minus one of those pins. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, boy. All right, grind out the out. Go over to lane two. Just get out of this. Just get out, get of, the out of the box. Yep. Yep. Still, 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 still got some good bowling left. Oh, boy. All right, well, forget about that. Yep, you can't do anything but hit the nope. reset button and go over next door. You can always, always throw five marks in a row. I mean. Oh, and a guy like Dennis, I wouldn't put past him. Start right here. And there's one. 
Booyah. Booyah. So a strike in the six keeps Dennis alive in the match. Rick steps up, up 17. He's only opposite a six box right here, though. Mm -hmm. Those four pins standing are important. So even if Dennis gets a 10, that puts him over the 20 threshold that we talked about, which is so yeah. important. That, yep. that, that makes three marks, you know? Because then you can just 10 box your opponent to death. Yep. So this Lots one here, he's got the four, seven, 10. Two pieces of wood are touching. I, I think where the where the wood meets, guys. Uh, Either where it meets or to yep. just to the ribbon, somewhere towards that four pin. I would agree. Oh. Hey. But like Richie said here, if he grabs that ten box, yeah, he'll put it at twenty-one. He's at twenty right now. Correct. And it looks like he will, yep. and he does. Big time pin. Twenty-one Lee, opposite of strike. Twenty-one opposite the big one. Sixty-five half, a wreck, not bad at all. Yeah, and he's had good pace to his ball too, Mike. Seems to be finding that rhythm. Okay. Yeah, even that's not bad. A little loosey goosey ball. Get the one three seven ten. Just gotta hope that wood doesn't stop it on the way to the ten pin. Ooh. Okay now, Rick. Now now it could flip a little. Now yep. now you want to get that out. Yep, take Dennis your is coming now. up with a bomb. Yeah, you need if to Dennis is able to get some kind of spare. I mean, it isn't even a double, but some kind of... If he gets that mark, it's going to fill it as 10, and it's going to chop it all the way down. And he'll get that 8. Sweet. Oh, boys, you're only at 19. That's it's, big. Yep, 19. 19 less. 19 less. And he's filling. Four boxes to go, down 19, not bad at all. I know all of us here in the broadcast booth come back from that with four boxes to go. Oh yes, plenty of, plenty of boxes. Well, the good news is he's on a strike. No Bad decision. news is he's hit the head pin one out of six. One out of seven. And the only one was a bomb. Well, it's seven. It's... <sighs> This is a tough one, guys, because it's under. It's just under 20. Do you go for the two? Do you go for the, the three? One. I'm Good taking question. two pins here, but... Do you sometimes do what he just did? You only get the one anyhow. That's a really tough call. And you got to think these things so... You have to think them through so quickly because you only have so much time. Right, right. I just How am I throwing the, the ball? How aggressive am I? Am I near it? Oh, boy, does he answer with another? No. Nah. Terrific ball. Stone Cold 10 pin. Sitting here, we're in the eighth. Second ball, he's gonna need to pick this 10 yeah, pin. I think he's, he's gonna, gonna win this round. He's gotta make this to, to really give himself a, a, a good shot. Oh, and he does. Right. Oh, oh, I would have taken yes. this okay. seven, I think. Okay, big cover there. Big cover to keep yourself in a match. It's a clutch shot from Nuzzo. Rick at 73 through six here in the seventh box. 12 pin lead. 12 pins and he's opposite the eight. So even a 10 puts it back to that 20 threshold. He knows that. He's, he's telling himself he's just got to relax and get himself out of this box right here. Just take a little deep breath, relax. Yeah. See yeah. if you can get yourself out of this box. It's a very major spare. Get, yeah, you can, yeah, you blow this up like one sometimes. Yeah, you just a good first oh, ball. Got it out you know, there. A little bit too oh, far out there. Oh, this is going to be interesting, yeah, boys. Yeah, this is a this is, this is a going to be interesting. Here. Yep, it's a big one. If Even if he walks away with an eight box, with the lead, I, eight I see this ball going up, towards so the quarter pin all day. I do. I think he needs the pins. He's tight. Oh, oh he gets it into the head pin. Though. Such a gigantic Huge. nine right there. Huge. Thirteen yep. pin lead to keep opposite that mark. Nazo still needs that two marks now. Rolling in the eight. That right there is like a mini mark right there, boys. It is, right there, yeah. He had six still on the plate. Able to get out of there with a nine box. You could be liable to punch out the half Worcester or even worse right there. Oh, yeah, he, oh, yeah. Good ball. Until it wasn't. Uh, well, <laughs> I lied. Got the helper, though. This is 
Honestly, yeah. this could go really quick. It does make the you. shot easier, sure. Go inside, outside. Got to go for it here. It's only the eighth box. You got to be thinking spare. He was go spare. inside. Gets everything but the head pin. Can't fortunate right there to get everything but the head pin. Yeah, very fortunate. Able to ten it here. He keeps the lead at 13 going into the final two. Which he does. And a good pin. That third ball has been uh, pretty good for him. He's been able to bail out of a couple of boxes. Keep himself right. right there. So for a lot of Dennis' struggles, boys, he's down only 13. Baker's going to that nine box. Mm -hmm. So and on a he's spare. Get one, and he's on a spare. He's down 13. So could fill another that. spare. And, Might give and, him, in theory, force Rick to throw a mark. Is he able to deliver here in the ninth? He's a good ball. He can struggle on lane Touches one. Finally top. finds the head pin on lane one. What's the Lord going to okay, do? I think it's going to flatten out. That's he's got a sh he's got a shot at this. He's going to go at the hole. You got to go right through the hole. I think. Yeah, I think he's got to clip that wood on the way by. Mm -hmm. Oh, good offer. It's not grab, the end of the world. Grab no, grab he's still there. Grab he's still in the kitchen. Because you can yep. get a mark in pins. the tent. Grab a stick. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's had some uh, recent success on lane two. Okay, like we've seen it, honestly. If he gets a 10 box here, I really think Rick's going to be able to get 14 pins in two boxes, guys. You know, let's be honest. So I think Dennis really needs a mark here. Oh, and he could actually win the match. Oh, oh baby. What he's a good force for Rick to mark. Oh, a lot Flash of wood, though. Oh, he's, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put it down towards the middle here. Well, see, here's the thing. If he may, he's he's going to make it to get to 105. There he goes. Yeah, he's, make it, he's at 105. So he's at 105. So if he throws a 7, or he throws Rick to make a mark. If he throws an 8, excuse me, it will force Rick to mark. He's going to force Rick to mark, yeah. So again, that 20 threshold, that 10 threshold that we talk about all the time, Comes up yet again. Big ball. Depending on what Big Nuzzle ball. does. Oh, only oh, four. Yes, four. Well, it's still going to be interesting. Rick's going to have to pick his pins. He made it a little harder for him. So that'll put Nuzzle in the clubhouse at 109, which forces Kamarowski to get 18 pins over the next two boxes. Sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. You think 9 10. You think it'd be easy. You think about it, you got to get at least a nine on the first box. Just throw one wayward ball. No. Uh, it's like you're saying, DC. You spot. cherry out that two pin right here. Yep. <laughs> and then what do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Do you go for the 470? Do you go for, you know. You only need 19. You say only. He's on it. Up Goes top. outside. All right. In the wood. Kisses it, but doesn't take it down. Touches Huge it on pin, the though. red line, too. Huge pin, you're right. Because now a nine wins it instead of uh, instead of a ten. He's going to want it. He's got it. All over it. Big, big box right there. Mm -hmm. Now he needs eight. But, guys, we've seen anything. Like you just said, we've seen Wistas um, oh, yeah. for the last couple of weeks. We've seen Eagles. We've Eagle seen the one five. five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean... It's not as easy as you think to just grab eight. That's a good looking ball. And there that it is. Gonna do it. The deal. Do it. There's your match. Mathematical here, you'd really like to pick that single anyhow, but Rick Kamarowski will be our winner here this week. I want to pick this one just for your confidence going into the next match. Or just take the victory and say, thank God. You know? Yep. Rick, Rick just said the same thing up there. He's like, oh, thank God I didn't need it. <laughs> and he picks it for a 10 for good measure, though. Great oh, showing. Grinding match, guys. Yep. We yeah. end up uh, Rick Kamarowski, 112, defeats Dennis Nuzzo's 109. Nuzzo made a really nice run there. Yeah, um, yeah Rick was kind of you know, put to the test, but uh, his third ball was Really good. He the ball's really good. You know, he only left a few pins in, and uh, unfortunately, Dennis kind of shot himself with a couple of six boxes early on, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of really decided the match for him. Yeah, when you can keep it in between that that 20-10 threshold, you know, that third ball is also important, so you don't force yep. yourself into a position to throw a double when you when you don't really right. want to, you know. So, Mikey, take us out of here. All right, guys, we're going to be back for our interviews. Please stay tuned. We'll be back after this.
and welcome back to New England Candle Pins. I'm here with our runner-up, Dennis Nuzzo. Dennis, uh, you made a really nice run late, uh, a couple of good shots and uh, a couple of serious strikes, um, but it just wasn't enough today against Rick Kamarowski. Uh, too little, too late, and those back-to-back -back six boxes killed me. I couldn't get anything going on lane one, just kept going to the right. So and it is what it is. He did what he had to do. He jumped on the opportunity. He did. He. Uh, it seemed like his third ball was really in. Like you said, back to back sixes just isn't going to do it. Right. But uh, we appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. And uh, I've got a prize for you, a check for seventy-five dollars. And we appreciate you being part of the program. And I'm looking forward to being part of yours. Is your phone number in here too? Uh, no. But uh, see me afterwards. All right. Cool. DC. All righty, Rick. Congratulations on uh, winning Thank your you. match here. As uh, Richie just alluded to, uh, your third ball seemed to be really, uh, really on. You kept picking your pins, and that really seemed to make the difference of the match. Well, I, I actually thought that's what was going to make me lose the match. I didn't feel like I was throwing a good ball. Uh, I was hanging on to it a little bit, and uh, he got hot at the end when I was starting to struggle. Put a little pressure on myself, but uh, uh, my crusher hammer, I think, put him away. Well, either way, congratulations. Are you going to make any adjustments going forward? Yeah, I'll, I'll be more relaxed. Well, there you go. Well, congratulations on your win, and Thank we look you. forward to seeing you in the Elite Eight. After these messages, we'll see have our next round of interviews between Ray Weatherby and Justin Scally. Alrighty, welcome back to New England Candlepins for our final matchup for our Sweet 16 round between our 15th seed, Ray Weatherby, and our number four seed, I think, Justin Scally. And I don't even, no, oh, our second seed, excuse me. I'll get it right. Now, Ray, you've been on the show quite often. It's good to see you again. A, how have you been? B, how you've been bowling? I've been, I've been okay bowling. I haven't picked up a ball only once in the last month, and that was just to qualify for this. So, hoping to, hoping to keep that good, uh, good form going. Yeah, I was afraid the score wasn't going to make it. The cut was awful high this time around. So, we'll see how it goes. All righty, Richie, how's Scally doing? We're going to find out, DC Scally. I got three questions for you. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Right. Um, just an observation, really, more than a question. You've been bowling really well lately. Um, it's been refreshing to see you throwing such a nice ball, and uh, we're looking forward to having you bat back on the broadcast. And uh, thirdly, before we get started, uh, does pineapple belong on a pizza? Well, thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. And yeah, sure, why not? All right, sure, why not? Pineapple on a pizza after this. <laughs> Welcome back to New England Candle Pins. We got a good one coming for you. We got Justin Scally versus Ray Weatherby. Ray is up on lane one. Should be an interesting match, guys. This will decide who will be able to pull Rick to our chance to be the last semifinalist here for this season's New England Candle Pins. Pretty good break. It's two pinner because that would should be able to take the other two pins here with the full horseman. Oh, right Whoa. around it. Hit the object though. Hit the object. Have your out. Yeah, tough. All right, tough start. Hit the object twice. Only comes out of it with a nine. Uh, Ray won our won our championship show uh, back in the fall of 2015. He's no stranger. Yeah, that was a good run. Beat some quality competition all the way up. He's the 710. Pieces went out in the middle. I think he'll play. I think play he's low. okay if he gets there. And there he it does. Is. Good when, you have him, you, when you have him touching up like that, you guys know. You, Send it. Yep. You, you just bury it and it flies both ways. Indeed. You Good use start the side to your advantage and next thing you know you're carrying corner pins just like nothing. Yep. Now here comes Justin Scally. Looking for his first win here in New England Candle Pins. Run into guys that have averaged over 129 that have bowled against him. 
Like to just put his own 129 here. Yeah. Wow. Gives himself the seven pin with an awesome first ball. Looking at a good opportunity on the first box, just the seven pin. Not able to get down and get it though. Slides just by to the right. Yeah. Still win the box. Get the ten. Match the spare. Nothing to worry about. And good ten. Picks it nice and clean. And here comes what they like to say the always ball. You miss a single. Make a strike. Sometimes you you throw a hammer. Sometimes you blow out four. Well, I wasn't up top as good as he was in the first box there. Four horsemen to the right, five and the nine. Good ball. A good bid. Good on bid. It. Yep, definitely a good offer. Leaves just a five pin. Love to get, love to start out with two tens, even though uh, he's opposite of Mark here. Anytime you. Don't leave a pin standing, you're going to give yourself a chance. All right, Ray's lead will be his fill. Fun fact about Ray, he's been, uh, he's had 14 appearances here. He's 7 and 7. Averages a 118.5, and his opponents actually average 118.8. Talk Pretty about even matches. Should be coming down the ninth around, or tenth right? then. <laughs> oh, what a backdoor Wait break a that is. is. Wait a oh, second. Wait another second. Boy, oh. what a break that is. Well, kind You're filling of, for one, and you have a spare lead. Yeah, stacks, but I'm not crazy about that wood. No, I'm not it. either, but yeah, 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 it's a nice shot. He hit it perfect. Beautiful shot. You get that type of break, you got to find a way to jump on it. you got to find a way. That's a backdoor eight drop. In a, in a fill, too. Mm -hmm. On eight. It. Yeah, no time at all. Drops a quick seven. Ray's one of those guys that once he gets going, he... He finds a rhythm. He wastes oh, no yeah. time, and he throws the same ball over and over again. There's really not too much you can do. He's at it, yep, man. right he's, in the crotch of that three pin. I don't mark, know if mark. you can say that. Three in a row. Scallywagon gonna need to start getting some marks himself here. Obviously, three in a row from Ray. <laughs> start out missing that single. See if he can bounce back. A little Wait a back to eleven himself. Okay, this is a cool one. He's got just enough space on the outside of that two pin. If he can get to the red line somehow and just sliver that thing over, I think it could go. Make it See, all you think you're right, Richard. See where he goes. Pin might be the nine. Ooh. Well, he ends up hitting that pin. Yeah, he played it traditionally, and it's really difficult to make that shot traditionally. Really good bid. You're really relying on the head pin to come off the wall and take out both the ten and the nine pin. The early pressure, you guys. This guy, he's going to go over the lane. Two for his fourth box. He's open all the way through so far, and Ray's got three in a row. Does make a good ten though. He's keeping him yep. down 15 off the mine. He's under that yep. 20 threshold, and he's throwing a good ball. He hasn't thrown too many bad balls. Yep, still early in the match. Only through three boxes. That's an excellent. And the crotch stick around. Wants a seven to go at least. Yeah. All right. Well, if that wood stays on the plate, you might want to think about sweeping the link. I don't know if you've got enough room, especially because he needs a right to left bowler. I don't, I don't know if he's going to have enough room. To, I think you want to be high on that wood in the middle. Oh, boy. No way. Ooh. Almost a little too high on the cap. What a bit. That's why he left the, left the eight pin. The but it was a heck of an offer. Ooh. Left that one there, too. See, that? that's the... that's. The type of one that's gonna really get under you, under your skin. Yep. You, know, you gotta have that pin. Yep. And that's yep. a, that's you know, that's, that's anywhere that's but the cap close takes it in that area. Put in a foot of the area for, and it goes. For, for a pro like uh, like Justin. Right. Another backdoor I mean, break he, for Ray. He knows and what's at six. stake, and you know those, those are the type of things you can you can miss. It's it's one thing to miss, but it's one thing yeah. to kind of give one away. And not that he gave one away, but. Oh, right in the oh, pocket, and right. that'll be another spare, his fourth in a row. Gives him 70 and a ball for half. Really is going to put the pressure on Justin to do something when he gets up in the fifth or sixth, right. no matter what he does here. And you see what happens right there? He's already giving one pin away on top of Ray's fill. Yep. You know, those are the type of ones you have to clean up if you're going to advance. Mm. Another backdoor six. Leaves a 1-3-7-10. 
nowhere to really help him. He yeah, he's really the gun and might kick out and make a play, but it's fun one really when it goes. Up. It's pretty. All right, right Scully's got his break. All right, he's off to four in a row, though. He's got to need to come up in the fifth and sixth and do yep. a little something. He's going to pull this out. Sure. Well, All right, a little opening. Well. A little opening. Yeah, Scully's able to put two together. So he's or down 20, at least right. one. He's down 22, so if he outfills him, and he's already got the eight box in the sixth, he can get back under the 20, even just with the one mark. Yep. He's going to need a mark to get under that 20, though. Seems like every other ball has been really good for him. So see if you can find one here. And it looks like a good one. It's a little light, but a good ball. Buster on the left. Two, four, five, seven, and eight. The shot actually ain't too bad for uh, Justin's style of ball. But the ball is going to help carry the back. Oh, just oh, a little full. Great not effort. Able to get the, get the carry the back pins. He carried the far back one, he just did not able to catch the five on the way. You don't by. leave the five there very often. No, you don't, especially when you carry, like I said, you carry that back one, which would have been the eight pin. 47 half of Justin. Ray had four marks in the first half. He's down 28. See if you can flip the script here in the sixth to start that second half and start chipping away that 28 pin deficit minus that eight box. Yeah, this ain't bad. It's considering it's opposite an eight box, he gets one spare here, he gets a good fill. It's, really only, two, it's yeah. really only like three marks. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. Oh, oh. not bad. Well, this, uh, like, like Mike said, this ain't bad. You, you, you plow that head pin with that piece of wood behind it, it really gives you a good chance of making it. Kind of worried about the eight pin there. I almost yep. feel like he's got to yep. have it if he's going to win this string. Tries to play the wood on the left. Take one here, at least start chipping. Sure. Uh, uh, tough time for that pair. And so now we got a 28 pin deficit for Scally and Weatherby. Just, just feeling good because you're up, you're up 28. You know you got four boxes to go. You always want to try and put it in there, but he, I think he's going to push right on top. That's a great ball. Oh, that piece of wood turned away. What do you think, guys? Left or right cap? Oh, it's it's left all yeah, day now. I agree. It's got to be. He's got enough space, I believe. Yeah, it's not frozen to the five. Left to the so ribbon, boys. Should, should turn. Sensible oh, right. right. Cap. And I think that's why Richie and I want to play the left side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why we have uh, sneakers on instead of uh, bowling shoes. I got my bowling shoes on. <laughs> you actually do have your bowling shoes on. And I, I don't have sneakers on. I have my loafers on. Well, there's actually a reason for it. It's because my other shoes are, uh, they leave black marks all over the place. Because <laughs> I kind of drag my foot. And I don't want to put black marks all over the approaches. Hammerball, but at least. Kustak is barefoot, which is, you know, that's on brand for him. <laughs> all right, so Weatherby. He's got room. He can see it. 6'10", yep, as Mike said, he can see yeah, it. Yeah, almost, almost like it's not there. Yep, should get by it. Done. And he does. And it's, it's still on. not there. All right, Justin, throw four in a row and see what your score is at the end. Yep. That's, that's what we got here, bud. You're technically 20 pins, you can make that up in three marks. Yeah, you, yeah, you throw one so right here, I mean, big one, you know. Quick little nine drop and another. Looking ball. All right, he's got, a, he's, got a, he's got to look at one. Yeah, wood's can, coming over, but it's yeah, not really going to be a problem. Yeah, the wood cooperates, though. It sits right there, just helps you out a little bit. Something right. to look at. Just hit that four pin. Oh, and he leaves it to the right again. Looks like he was looking at that wood, Richie. Uh, maybe. It can be uh, it can be a little bit of a distraction, even if you don't think it is. Right on it there for the 10. 10. Well, the game's a pin. It's like sometimes, you know, in a previous episode, DC and I were talking about how if you have like a single pin and there's a piece of wood, you know, just even a foot away, you know, if you're shooting it's in, in a your corner, eyesight. it's like, you see it, you know, it's there. You see it, but it, for me, it's comforting. It, it, it makes that window close, closer for me. So, it, you know, it kind of zeroes me yeah, in. Yeah, it helps you focus. Yeah. It's like and, a tunnel. But then, the hole. <laughs> but then sometimes, like on a triangle, like Justin was just shooting at, it can do the complete opposite effect. Yeah, especially if you, your eyes start to drift towards it, you know? The old then joke is see a cap, play a cap, you know? <laughs> you know, we've all been there, so. 
Cut out. Well, as uh, DC David mentioned earlier, that Ray came in at seven and seven, up 29 with two to go. Looking like he's gonna get to eight and seven and get himself a shot to bowl against Rick to uh, get to fourth and final spot in the semifinals. Let me let me see this paperwork here. Let me count. Let me count these numbers. I'll be right back after after these words. All right, Nine so. and a couple of planks yep. for Ray. Oh, Wood jumps right over the wood behind it. So Chester Cove has put together these stats, and uh, Ray's average is 18.53, and his opponent's average on the show is 118.84. He also has it going to 12 decimal points. Yeah, that's just the way of the program. 12 <laughs> decimal points. the way points. the program. Uh, it's the way the program works or the way yeah. you work? No, it's just the way the program works. I, I use Access Database instead of Excel. And, uh, I, don't, I don't mess around with the decimal settings on there because we Are they one of our sponsors? Happens. Because they should be. Uh, no, nope, they are an unofficial sponsor. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna send this broadcast to them. <laughs> You're like, uh, you owe us some royalties now. We <laughs> we gave us at least at Del Frisco's dinner. I mean, just something like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait a minute, are they a sponsor too? <laughs> That's a ten for Ray with. <laughs> well, a great string of 132 for Ray. Justin uh, needs um, 17 More strikes. No, I don't know. <laughs> he he needs to start throwing some hammers. I think right here. Let's see, 50 pins. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a triple. He can still do it. He's he, a triple. Yep, he's still alive. He needs a strike right here to stay alive. And no. That's Ray Weatherby. Bear triple, that's 50. Rick Kamarowski. Yeah. For a shot at the semis. Justin still grinding, hell of a bid. So just a string of running into opponents. That average that's, 129. That's 129. That's just only going to go up to at least 130 The beat goes now. on. Yikes. Talk about some bad luck. You know, it's interesting. We all bowl guys, and people that are watching, hopefully see are interested in the game. But I just go back to the first box. Justin comes out yep. and is right away, ready to go. Hammer is nine. Now we know we're not going to get a strike or whatever, but it's just a seven pin. It's not obstructed. And if he picks that, he could be the one throwing the 130 game. Yeah. He misses it, and he doesn't get a mark the rest of the way. Where Justin or any of us bowlers that catch on fire, you pick the seven, you drop it in there, you get a mark, now you sit with two, and you stop flowing. But he wasn't able to go after he just wasn't able to capitalize on after the box. Final score, Ray Weatherby 132 to Justin Scally's 91. So Ray Weatherby will move on to our Elite Eight match where he will face off against Rip, Rick Kemrowski. And we'll be back to interview our bowlers right after this. Welcome back to New England Candlepins. I'm here with the runner-up today, Justin Scally. Justin, uh, just didn't seem to be your day. No, it definitely wasn't. I missed, missed missed a couple of very makeable ones. I had the single there in the first, and then another triangle later on. But other than that, I just wasn't getting anything to go. Well, sometimes it's uh, you know it's tougher than it looks out there, guys. You know, but. Uh, you never gave up and you didn't throw a single ball away and uh, we appreciate your time and we appreciate you always being on the show. And uh, for that we're going to give you a check for $75 mm -hmm. and uh, thanks for being on the show and we'll see you next time. I hope. I, I, yep, I plan on being back. I know you'll be back. Yep. Thanks Justin. DC? Alrighty Ray, congratulations on making this round. Now I know you said you haven't been bowling much. Sure didn't look like it today. Yeah. The ball was there for the most part. I got a couple of breaks off the head pin. I took advantage of him. Justin just didn't get any breaks at all. And when he did hit the shot, he wasn't carrying the extra pin. That's bowling. What can I say? Got that right. That is bowling. Well, good luck in your uh, next match against Rick Gamrowski in our elite match, the elite eight round. And uh, hopefully you keep that good ball rolling. I hope so. Thank you. All righty. Thank you for watching New England Candle Pins. That'll wrap up our Sweet 16 rounds. And you'll see these elite eight matches coming up next.
This program was made possible by your Franklin friends and neighbors. Good folks, just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching.